I have a pretty cool video for you today where we learned from the best. No, not me, of course. Diamond forever. But from New York Excelsior's own head coach, Wizard Young, who decided to post an hour-long video talking about Overwatch. If you'd like to check it out for yourself in its entirety and not a summarized version, then the link will be in the description. So I'm going to go over some key parts of the vid that I think are interesting and will help you out. First, understand that in this video, he goes into the very basics of Overwatch because he believes the foundation must be solid before going into any advanced stuff. Makes sense, right? First, he goes over what vision is in Overwatch. I'm like, cool. The first part of the video is about utilizing vision in Overwatch. Eh, I was wrong. The entire hour long video is just about vision in Overwatch. Just goes to show how meticulous and intelligent this guy is. But we already knew that. First, the different types of vision. First person, third person, and top down. See, you have to think of vision as a resource for information. With that said, top down view gives the most amount of information out of all the types of vision, which explains why those types of games tend to reduce the range of your vision deliberately because the game would then be too easy. So understanding that first person is the vision that offers the least amount of information then leads to how to exploit the disadvantages of it by attacking from the enemy blind spot, AKA flanking, and how to have your team cover more angles from different routes to acquire more information with vision and be less likely flanked by the enemy successfully. He uses Numbani as a great example. I'll give you some like easy example here. Let's say we're on Numbani second point defense here and the payload is about let's say here or like here. Um, how a lot of teams would usually set up is that so they're gonna have somebody here or like here and have them watch main, right? So um, in Overwatch, a lot of maps, um, there's this main side and there's this one side and the other side. So there's like um, three big ways. So there's this main and two sides. So, so what's important here is that, what's important here is that all six members are looking at main only. You guys have much more firepower, much more power um, when it comes to this main fight, but one of the like attackers, um, let's say comes here and you know, flank. And that's when you are in huge danger. Something I found interesting in his talk was forcing vision. We gamers know this as aggro. See, simply flanking on a tracer to where you feel is behind the enemy based on map spawn points isn't enough. Flanking is only when you're attacking the enemy blind spot. The blind spot is created outside of the enemy's field of vision, which is dynamic and can change at any time. To achieve a successful flank, the enemy's vision has to be forced into a field of vision, which then creates the blind spot a flanker can utilize. Put more simply, if you try to flank as Tracer when your team is dead, then you aren't really flanking, but forcing a new field of vision for the enemy. This also works in reverse if, say, the enemy turns around to focus on the Tracer, then she is no longer in the blind spot, and the rest of your team is now in the blind spot and will have an easier time pushing forward. I know this is all basic, right? But Wizard Hyong himself said that he comes across players that know these principles, but don't take them seriously. That their execution of their knowledge isn't there, which is something I've talked about on this channel before when it comes to low ranks trying to climb. He mentions this when he talks about breaking vision by using cover and how many players don't actually take cover seriously and are convinced that it doesn't do much in their games. You know, I asked him to like build a database on cover usage. What happened was that my assistant was super shocked that this um, map usage, cover usage can be very important, right? So he himself tried to do it in comp game and what happened is that in two weeks, in two weeks, uh, he, he gained 1,200 SR in two weeks. So he was 2,600 and then two, in two weeks, he became 3,800 just by playing, just by applying that. There was no other factor. Um, but still, when I, when I t go talk to people, you should use cover better. You know, they just, ah, I know that. But, you know, just, just knowing this... Knowing that using cover is important, actually executing it in the game, or like it's about how much you are convinced. Like if you're 
fully convinced just like my assistant because he had to be convinced because he knows he saw all the things happening while he was building database, right? So he knows how important it is. So it was very important for him to execute it in games, which he did. So he gained 1,200 SR in two weeks. Let's say if I make a um, database um, of you using cover and compare that to Liu Jiehong, I guarantee T, you know, Liu Jiehong will be much better and you suck, right? That's right, his assistant simply added cover usage to his arsenal of skills and managed to climb 1,200 SR in two weeks. Something as basic as using cover, something that players are not convinced affects their games that much, was able to help this player climb from mid-plat 2600 to almost Grandmaster 3800 in two weeks. Of course, this is assuming he has all the other skill sets as well, so I wouldn't see this as a quick fix. It just shows that you shouldn't underestimate the basics. We are so focused on advanced techniques, even at gold rank, when really our foundation isn't great. Mine included. And that's what we really should be focusing on. So that's the summary on Wizard Hyung's video on Vision. Again, this video is exactly what it's supposed to be, a summary. So I still recommend checking out the whole video when you get a chance. If you'd like some coaching from myself or others, please join our Discord. I also have a Twitch and a Patreon if you'd like to further support my channel. All links below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.